James Kaufman, World News Report today, August 14th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a direct Earth-facing X-class solar flare. This has happened today, and we're going to go over some of the details here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our X1.11 solar flare occurred right around or peaked right around 7 UTC time. That was preceded by a strong M-class solar flare. We've also just had another M-class solar flare. Let's take a look at what that looks like. All right, taking a look at today, we're moving up this time. And 3784 is our culprit. It is a reverse polarity sunspot that is beta, delta, gamma. We've also had the M4.4 just prior to that. And we've had another larger M flare that's not printed out yet here. The M4.4 came from region AR3774, whereas the X-flare came from AR3784, which is a reverse polarity sunspot. Now, we'll show you what that means right now. We have a 25% chance of having an X-class solar flare, a 75% chance of having an M-class solar flare, and, well, we'll just make it a 100% chance of a C-class solar flare. Current value, a C7.52. The 72-hour max and the max for the day is the X1.11. So, NOAA has noted that Sunspot AR3784 is breaking Hale's Law, according to the Hundred-year-old rule, sunspots in the northern hemisphere should be polarized with a positive, negative, but instead AR3784 is polarized with a negative over positive, meaning it is a reverse polarity sunspot. NOAA also adds that it has a 90-degree twist to it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, they say that this makes up less than 3% of sunspots, but we've seen that not to be true towards the cycle peak here. All right, taking a look at our solar disk HMI intensogram, we can see 3784 staring us right in the face here, directly earth facing. There was a coronal mass ejection emitted and it's directly earthbound. I don't know how to get away from this one, folks. Um, grateful that it was only an X 1.1 class solar flare. Now, currently, we have 10 sunspots Earth-facing on the solar disk and several more coming around that should be named at some point today. Headed over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center when the X-class solar flare popped off. The radiation poured in over parts of India, the Indian Ocean, parts of the Middle East and Africa, even parts of Indonesia. A very big area was covered by extremely strong X-ray radiation. Now, believe it or not, NASA has already modeled this X-flare, and it couldn't be more of a direct hit on Earth. Earth being this yellow dot right here. You can see that it's a direct hit, and that M-flare seems to be we're along with it for the one-two punch. Uh, this looks like it's going to occur on around the 17th, perhaps three days from now. It's a very slow moving X flare. I would expect it sooner than that, but that's what we're seeing here from Iswa's, uh, NASA Iswa Goodard Spiral. So what do we have here? We have a directly Earth facing X 1.1 class solar flare that generated a CME. We had an M flare right before that that generated a CME, and we're not quite sure about the third explosion, the M flare, that has not yet been modeled. So we might have 
three more coronal mass ejections inbound in or around the 17th. At least that's what NASA thinks. I think that that might be here sooner than they say. With that said, God bless you and yours. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.